part 3 arithmetic progression the last concept of this chapter sum of an a sum of the terms of an ap let we have seen the nth term of an ap means particular term to find an ap we have we have seen now we are going to see in this sum of a terms sum of terms if you add all the terms for example 1 4 7 10 if you add for a particular term if you want to find a 17th term or 20th term or 31st term you can easily use the by a plus n minus 1 into d formula we can use and we can find but here we have to find out the particular term of an ap how to find out for that one to find that one we have to use here formula here are so derivation of the formula also i'll explain for you let me see first uh, what is the sum of any first terms okay how we are going to add the sum of any terms so sum of any arithmetic series if you see in this sum sum sometimes we want to add terms of a sequence let us see this video let me watch this video shall we uh, okay you can watch this video what would we we get if we wanted to add the first 10 terms of an rp for example i told already 1 4 7 for one first term is 1 4 7 it's going on like that and last term is uh, something 7 and then 10 and then uh, 13 and then 16. So, what will be the answer? It is very easy. 1 plus 4, 5. 5 plus 7, 12. 12 plus 10, uh, uh, 22. 22, 35 and then 51. Yes, this is a sum of all the terms, all the 6 terms. But if you want to find out 100 terms, is it possible? No. You have to write 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16 and goes on 100 terms you have to write. So, it will take time to do. For that one, our great Aryabhatta and uh, our so many, this one, they have found the sum of terms, uh, uh, how to find out the easy formula. What is that formula? We will see. Okay. So, now what is the formula? If you know that one, sum of terms, derivation of this formula, let me take sum of the terms is denoted by Sn. L is nothing but last term. L is nothing but last term. You want to find out the last term of this one. In this example, the 16 is the last term, A is the 1 is the first term and common difference is 3. Same way, let L, then you are adding from the back L. Last term is L means the previous term will be L minus T. Last term, second term will be L minus D. Last from the last, third term will be L minus 2D. And first term is A, A plus D, A plus D. And what you do? You add this, this SN. This is the first equation. This SN and this SN. Add it. You will get A plus L, A plus L, A plus L, A plus all. Because all will get cancelled. Because A, this is A and there is L, L and then A plus L, A plus L, A plus L. How many A, is A plus L are the N times of A plus L? Then if you send this n here, what will happen? n by 2 a plus l. This 2 if you send this here, s n equal to n half of n. By. So, l is nothing but last term how to find out a plus. That is nth term. a plus n minus 1 into d. So, substitute in the place of l, this a plus n minus a plus a is 2a. So, the formula easily you can write n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. This is a formula for derivation Sn. Sn is nothing but sum of an arithmetic series. So, series we won't say sequence. Sequence means separate terms. When we are adding all the terms we call it as a series. Okay. So, now we see the sum of first example. Find the sum of first 50 terms of this given. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So, 1 is called A. Uh, D is called uh, 2. How to find out D? A2 minus A1. Okay. A2 minus A1. 3 minus 1, 2. N is number of terms is 50. Use the formula N by 2 means half of N. 2A plus N minus 1 into D. Substitute these numbers. You will get that the last 49. First multiply, the multiply then add it. Okay. So, 98 to 100. Then 25, 2500. This is the sum of 50 terms of the given sequence. Okay. Find the sum of the series. is given A given. And then 3, 6, 8.5 and D we know. And then last term given. So, how to find out? We don't know what is the n here. So, to find the n, it's, it's very important question. So, to find the n, we have to use the formula L plus, that is an. An is nothing but L last term. L is equal to A plus n minus 1 into D. Substitute these values all in this, then you will get n. Then n value use the another formula is there. There are two formulas for Sn. One is uh, n by 2 a plus l and another one is n by 2 2 a plus n minus 1 into d. When they given l we can use the l means last term. When they given l we can use this formula n by 2 1 plus 1 then you will multiply you will get the 2091. The same example 3. Arthemi has 3 as its first term. 
also the first term is 3 sum of the first 8 terms is twice the sum of the first 5 terms ok this logically you have to think so a, we are given a is 3 ok sum of 8 terms is equal to sum of 8 terms first 8 terms means s8 is equal to uh, twice the sum of the first 5 terms what is the sum formula sn is equal to n by 2 a plus l a plus l means l plus that is a plus 70 8 the 8th term no a plus 70 so a is 3 so already 3 a plus a plus 70 means 6 3 plus 3 70 means 6 plus uh, 70 then cancel 2 table 4 then 4 into 6 plus 70 then uh, uh, here here again s5 s5 find out half into 5 into 6 plus 4d because fifth term is 4d so now s8 is equal eighth term is equal twice the fifth term sum of options then substitute these values will get d equal to 6 by 8 means 3 by 4 that 3 by 4 you can uh, d value they are asking find a common difference therefore it is a 3 by 4 okay and next example find number of terms number of terms they are not asking sn they given here a given l given d given d is 5 means a2 minus a1 so use this formula or l is equal to whatever substitute the values you will get n is equal to you will get n is equal to 81 this is the number of terms this is also very important question now next we will see the one example find the sum of 30 terms a given it's very easy a given d you know how to find out a2 minus a1 means 8 a is 12 substitute the formula n by 2 to a plus n minus 1 into d then 15 into substitute all 29 8s are multiplied then add it don't uh, add it and multiply first d mass formula you have to apply then 232 plus 4 this one so the sum of terms is 3690 so what you learn this arithmetic function you learned about the nth term of an ap arithmetic progression list of numbers which is having the fixed number uh, d to preceding term except the first term the first number d is called the fixed number is called the first term is called a fixed number is called the common difference the general form is a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d and the nth term is a plus n minus 1 into d and the list of numbers a2 a3 and a2 minus a1 a3 minus a2 a4 minus a3 and sn is a plus n minus 1 into d sn is n by 2 2 a plus 1 minus 2 in the given last term n by 2 a plus l okay this is the mind map children you can able to what we learn from the arithmetic progression so this is uh, you can able to see the this one so sum of first terms and then how many two digit numbers are this very important question a b c are in a p what will happen arithmetic means b equal to a plus b by 2 mm, so sn formula sn when they given last term and what is the uh, a a n d e this all very much you can draw and keep this for remembering your arithmetic progression thank you students Thank you. I hope you all understood the arithmetic progression. There is no application based on the questions. It's not there. Deleted in your uh, chapter. So, thank you students. Thank you very much.